Now let's look at the rotor. The rotor has four inputs to it and they can be selected from a variety of sources. Here I've got the four oscillators selected per input but if you want you can change it to other kinds of signals including control signals and then for each input on the second page of the main section there's a level control which is bipolar so you can invert phase or do other things so let's go back now and on the right side um, I've got the mixer set up I will be listening to the four oscillators first you can hear what the tuning is like so in the main page here are the oscillators and you can see the course tuning is different for each one and now we can go back and listen to those And now let's listen to how the rotor treats that. So it's playing one, two, three, four, because that's the uh, programmed value. And as you can see, I can speed it up and smooth the crossfading. So zero is no crossfading. Zero is crossfaded. Now, the range is quite high, and let's listen to what happens when it comes out of the sub audio range into the audio range. It's moving so quickly now that it's actually creating its own tone, and as you increase crossfade at that level, it just makes it a little less bright. You can also run it from uh, MIDI clocks and these switches by the way also apply to the oscillators. Uh, different rates for the MIDI clocking or you can run it like an oscillator itself and that's why the rotors in the oscillator section. It's best to use some harmonic or relationship to the oscillator tuning and as you can hear I'm playing now the rotor as an oscillator and again with the cross fade it makes it a little bit smoother less bright so that's a new way to have that timbral control and of course you can uh, change the oscillators themselves while it's playing so you can get some very interesting things gate sync for the rotor determines which note of the or which input of the four will play when you first press the key as I change the phase it changes the start point of the cycle so that every time I push the key down starts it in a different point. Low just shifts it down five octaves for a quick and easy access to a lower range. Now let's look at the modulation section. Same as with the oscillators, there are four sources, but in this case, the destinations for the rotor are only the pitch or the crossfade. So you can select through the four pages by just hitting those ink deck buttons on the side. And same situation as with the oscillators, except for there, of course, we have three choices of modulation destinations. And so on. Well, that's it for the rotors.